So, hey everyone, this is my first time in Poland and I'm very excited and thank you for having me. Anna asked me maybe 10 times to send my presentation in advance, but sorry, I don't have any slides. And I just came back from my business trip, six different countries, two and a half weeks, and I brought something else instead, all right? Are you ready? One, <laughs> two, three, okay, wait a second. So guys, this is one kilogram of Fiat trash <laughs> right? from six different countries. Come on, it's the fourth industrial revolution when everything is changing. And uh, that the digital revolution that fundamentally altered the way we live, work, and relate to each other. And could you give me... Isn't it just look funny, heavy, and absolutely old-fashioned in the digital era? <laughs> so people are still paying crazy money Western Union, as well as I pay, and I'm sure you do, crazy money for our phones. So according to Mr. Klaus Schwab, the founder of the World Economic Forum, so he said transportation and communications costs will drop. They just couldn't charge us so much money for that. And the global income level will rise. So quality will replace quantity, okay? Uh, I was interviewing Don Tapscott, one of the most influential voices on blockchain and the digital economy earlier this year in Davos World Economic Forum. So he mentioned that, you know, number one topic at Davos with was Mr. Donald Trump, <laughs> but number two topic was blockchain. Uh, will blockchain change the world? What do you think? Yes, yeah, so well, the thing is, it is already changing the world. And here, right here, right now, I see those who change the world. Am I right? Please! <laughs> Are you guys ready to change the world? <laughs> okay, good. But blockchain as a technology is impossible to effectively implement without all the other factors getting up to speed. I'm sure you've heard about the Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, quantum computing, renewable energy, the manufacturing revolution, and nanotechnology, drones, robots, 3D printing, biotechnology, and finally, space exploration to the moon, to the moon. <laughs> so, the transformation is unlike anything humankind has experienced before. And especially when we are talking about all these ICOs and investors, just presenting a nice blockchain-based project is not enough at all for them. It has to be AI-based as well as having, let's say, all this dis distributed ledger system that's extremely secure and transparent and so on and so forth. So the speed and possibilities for accessing knowledges have been absolutely unlimited. And I'm very happy to announce that we are building a transformational platform it calls the Third Millennium Woman with no competitors for women only on numerous AI-based algorithms which will help users to get the knowledge they're searching for while saving time and it's very personalized and at the same time users can earn tokens on this platform. So the third millennial woman is a hybrid between an educational platform, an investment fund, and a charity foundation as well. 
highly valuable, pure digital, and easily understandable. So if you want to know more details, I'm happy to chat. Just ping me right after my speech. I'm going to share some more info. All right, artificial intelligence. For some people, AI is like, you know, an unconscious, zombie, evil-looking robot uh, raising up all these weapons and killing humans, at least taking all our jobs. But basically, it's not like this. So during my last trip to Italy, I went sightseeing in Rome, and I got to see the famous White Marble Memorial Monument, and right before the entrance, guys, you stop by a girl who tells every single person, every single tourist, maybe, I don't know, thousands of times each day, that the sitting on the stairs is prohibited. I mean, the fourth industrial revolution, and we still have people doing this, and it looks really strange. And on the flip side, when you pass through the customs control in the South Korean airport, so you, um, after giving your passport to the custom officer, you are guided through all this, the whole process by a robot speaking on your native language. I mean, all this fingerprint and all the, the other questions, so the whole process, no English required. So artificial intelligence is more like a device than a human-looking <laughs> robot. And your smartphone uh, is, I can say, your artificial intelligence assistant already. The fact that we guys just, just think about it and listen, we touch our phones up to 3,000 times a day. Like, for me, it's like a real addiction. I'm joining crypto companies as a marketing advisor. Digital marketing is also a completely different monster from what we've had, let's say, five years ago. You know, traditional marketing ranked the targeted audience by age, location, and gender, your income, and so on and so forth. But new digital marketing is about your interests, your passions, your beliefs, and it's global. I'm very proud to announce that Cointelegraph is number one media on Facebook, Instagram, and other social media platforms. It's a very smart strategy. So companies have no chances to succeed without successfully running social media platforms. Only digital brands will survive. Another cool thing I would like to mention is a virtual reality. So I mentioned my trip to South Korea and I attended earlier this year the Winter Olympic Games. The final ceremony was amazing. So in between the games and competitions, there is, you know, an entertainment area where you can try a bunch of different digital cool things. And I was surprised, but the young generation was more interested virtual skiing than literally watching the world's best athletes live. So for millennials, this new generation, if you are not sociably, sociably visible, I mean all these likes, comments, shares, your Instagram, your YouTube vlog, and environmentally responsible, sorry, but you are not a modern brand. Some of the things that are already possible seem like uh, science fiction, like self-driving systems that change transportation forever. You know, I'm driving a Tesla now. I just came to Poland by Tesla. And for me, it's just uncomparable experience to, I don't know, anything I've tried before. Because it's faster than Lamborghini, it's clean, it smells so good, it's parked right in front of this building, and it's, it calms you down, no taxes, no oil bills, supercharges for free, and I tell you something. So the whole ride from Munich, Germany to Gdansk, Poland, cost me zero, zero euro. 
all right, because of the huge supercharger. Thank you, Elon Musk. <laughs> so 3D, 3D printers are able to successfully print bone muscles and different other structures. Anything that can be automated can potentially be controlled by nothing more than your thought. Thanks to antimicrobial materials and organic molecules, in the near future, nothing more than a quick hand in the sun might be necessary to clean your clothes. I mean, laundry bills is also too crazy now, and we use too much water. To make a long story short, um, I think, don't think ICO. Think of a brand you building, long-term goals, your vision, your mission. What problem do you solve? How do you see the world, let's say, in 10 years? New business models, creativity, global trends, and technology. And my final advice would be, and I'm going to quote a very good friend of mine, the founder of the biggest mining company, Genesis Mining. So he was quoted by Forbes saying that, attention, if you are not smart enough and fast enough in the world of cryptocurrencies, you out. Follow my Instagram <laughs> and add me on Facebook. Thank you so much, Paula. <laughs> Thank you.